Are you ready to invest in Abbotsford Townhome? In this video, I'm going to share five secrets to help you make the right investment. Let's get started. Number one, get pre-approved. One of the first steps in buying or investing in real estate requires that you obtain a pre-approval. Your pre-approval will be valid anywhere between 90 to 120 days. The reason why you want to get pre-approved is it helps to determine your investment budget. This will outline whether you can invest in a two-bedroom or a three-bedroom townhome. Step number two, partner with a local real estate expert. You want to work with a local agent from that market. So if you're buying a townhome here in Abbotsford, you want to work with a realtor that has experience of selling strata properties, the help investors. Another bonus is if they invest in real estate themselves, then they can understand the different needs an investor has. A bonus is when you work with an experienced realtor like myself, I surround myself with a lot of professionals. When you need a referral to a different professional, I can refer them to you. These professionals range from an accountant, mortgage specialist, lawyer, notary, home inspector, and the list goes on. Another bonus is they will know the different neighborhoods you should invest in and avoid. They will know that areas that have redevelopment potential, versus areas that are really bad. One of the most important things you need to know about when investing in a townhome is the location. Location, 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 and location matters. You want to invest in an A plus strata over an average strata complex. Number three, understand the local market conditions. When you're buying in real estate, you'll find yourself in three different types of markets. One might be a buyer's market, a balanced market, or a seller's market. As I'm recording this video in late September 2023, the Abbotsford townhome is representing a seller's market. When you are in a seller's market, there is typically low inventory and higher demand on the buyer's side. When you understand the local market conditions, you're able to make an informed decision when looking at prospective properties you are interested in making an offer on. Step number four, make offers. One of the things that you should consider doing when you see a property you are interested in is making an offer. You wanna find out the price that home's worth and the different terms and conditions you wanna include in your offer. One of the best ways to find out how much a prospective property is worth is through getting a CMA or a home evaluation. From this home evaluation, you'll have a clear idea of the recent comparable sales and active listings in the last 30 days. Then you wanna include subjects in your offer. These subjects might range from subject to financing, obtaining a home inspection, getting a quote for fire and property insurance, reviewing the strata documents, reviewing the strata insurance policy, and etc. Once you make an offer, the seller might do one of two things. They might make a counter offer to your initial offer or they might reject your offer. Step number five, once you have an accepted offer, you have time for due diligence. This allows you five to seven business days to getting a final approval on your financing, scheduling a home inspection, and reviewing strata documents. The strata documents are going to contain a lot of important information regarding the strata complex, regarding how proactive the strata council is in the day-to-day -day management of the complex, if there's any issues or upcoming levies. You'll get a chance to review the depreciation report, engineering report if there's one. Another thing that you can do to get more information regarding the strata complex is talk to the local neighbors that already live there. They'll probably be one of the best sources of information regarding how the complex is, how it's managed, things they like or dislike. When these steps are done in order, they will guide you to make a better decision when you're looking to invest in an Abbotsford townhome. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. If you want to set up a meeting to talk about the Abbey real estate market, feel free to click on the link in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.